kinky creations in today's video i'm going to be showing you all how i got these wonderful natural looking faux locks so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how my faux locks turned out and i did them in uh i would say i did them fairly large i'll turn around to the back And these are what the ends look like. And I'll go ahead and stand up to show you guys how long they are, although I'm not that tall. So. This is about how long they are. Now to complete this style, I'm going to go ahead and show you the hair that I use to complete this style. Now I use about three different types of hair. The hair that I use to get the curly ends, I use this hair from Main Concept. It's called Passion Water Wave and it's in 18 inches. I've actually done an unboxing on this hair already. So I'll definitely leave that video in the description box below. I also used... Um, Altrey's Soft Reggae Break 18 Inches 2X. I did an uh, unboxing on this hair as well. So I will definitely will leave that link below. And I also use Free Trust's Jamaican Twist Braid. So I know a lot of you are familiar with this particular um, Free Trust hair. And I used it in a color T30 as well as a color 1B. And the same thing for the Passion Water Wave here. I used it in a 1B in a color, I believe it was, I think it's 1B, T, I think it's T1B slash 30. As you can see, I have some brown um, pieces, you know, brown locks in my hair. And the reason why I use two different types of um, kinky hair is because I started running out of the Outre hair. So I had some of the Free Trust Equal Jamaican Braid hair. So... I would say I think I have about 29 locks in my hair I'm not really sure and I would say I probably use about four packs of the Jamaican twist braid and maybe two packs of the outre hair and I would say for the curly ends I used about I think I use about almost three packs because the thing is that the um out I'm sorry guys the main concept the main concept uh, passion twist hair only gives you 16 strands per pack so if you want curly ends just not the 16 strands in per pack so that will help you determine how many packs you need if you wanted to do your faux locks like this so what I'm going to do is actually I thought I ran out of the Jamaican twist braid but because I purchased so much hair over the years um, I was looking around for something else and I found an extra pack of the Jamaican um, twist braid so I'm actually going to take these two locks down and I'm going to replace them with the color 1B because that's what I actually prefer for the front so I'm going to show you how to do that and in this process I also will show you how to take down the locks just in case any one of you are interested um, on how to do that now there's a few different methods that people do when they're doing faux locks but I found one method that I felt was easiest for me and was no tension and it would be easy to take down because there are different methods that I did try before I finally came up with this method that I felt like if you don't do it properly one you wind up cutting your real hair two your hair will just end up in a tangled mess and you would probably wind up getting frustrated so I just was like, you know what, I got to come up with the best way. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what I did. So what I did first is, as you can see, I have my hair parted in sections, obviously, you know, in sections or whatever. So what I did was I went ahead and braided my regular hair just like that. 
and then I went ahead and well I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the process but before you do before you start wrapping or anything you want to first plait your whole head first that's the first thing that I would say to do so first I'm going to show you guys how to take this down so because of the method that I did and aside from the fact that I mean this hair is blonde you know it's easy to see but if you do have a 1B, you know, if you have like a regular natural color, you know, 1B or 2 or whatever, I'm still going to show you how to take this down. So, what you want to do is slightly tug here in the front. Make sure my camera is focusing. You want to slightly tug in the front. And what you want to do is locate where your braid is. So this is where my braid is and then when you want what you want to do is make sure you pull your braid to the side and I would say make sure your braid is intact and make sure you touch the hair firmly to make sure none of it is your hair and if you installed the way I did then you would know that okay this is my hair this is the synthetic hair so that you don't make no mistakes and cut the wrong thing okay so this is the synthetic hair. So what you want to do is cut the synthetic hair. I have a mirror that I'm looking at, so sorry. You want to cut the synthetic hair. And then gently pull. gently pull and there you go I was able to just get it right out so that's the method that I would say works so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna gently tug and this allows me to see where um, once again where the synthetic hair is so that's this well first I'm gonna take my braid out my braid. Gonna make sure my hair is not intertwined in any way. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the synthetic hair. Okay, so I was able to get that right out. So I have this side and then I have this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair back so that I can show you all how I went ahead and installed everything. So I don't have any more of the outro here left, but like I said, I will link a video below so you guys can definitely um, check out what that hair is like in that video. But like I said, I have the Jamaican twist braid. So this is what it looks like. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have used this hair already. So I also had it in a 1B. And like I said, I also had it in a T30. So I'm going to be using a 1B. And what you want to do is I'm going to section off four pieces only because I am, I just have two that I'm doing. Now, when I was doing the back of my head, I probably used a little bit more. I probably used two strands to wrap it, but because I'm in the front of my hair and I don't want them too thick and I'm not going to be making them too, too long, I'm just going to use one strand. So, what you want to do is take one strand of the Jamaican twist hair and one strand of the passion twist hair or any curly hair of your choice. This is what I had on hand. Actually, I purchased it because I was going to do some twists and then I decided I'm not going through all that hassle. So, I chose to do faux locks. So, this is what the hair looks like. What you want to do is put it together. Just take it like this. You want to make sure that the... Um, 
water wave hair or the curly hair or whatever is slightly longer like to make it like tapered like that and you want to make sure that Jamaican twist hair is at the same level so that you know is equal and then what you want to do is take your crochet hook forgot to mention that you're going to need a crochet hook so you take your crochet hook and you just want to go ahead and push it through your braid like that hook the hair on pull it through take one end like this one end but you're grabbing a piece of the Jamaican twist hair and the curly hair so you want to have it like this then you <clears throat> bring it like make sure the water wave hair is still tapered and make sure the Jamaican twist hair is at the same level like they're equal ends and you want to take your hair like this so now everything is like that then you want to take another strand of the Jamaican twist hair and what you want to do is you see how it comes like this what you want to do is make sure that you hold it this way. I'm going to tell you why in a second. What you want to do is make sure you hold it like this. Get it to the point where it's like this. Then you want to go through your braid again. You want to pull it through. And that part where it's shorter, you want to take that part and you want to hold it against everything else so that you have this long strand so that's why you want to make sure it's uneven like that you have the long strand and what you're going to do is to begin wrapping now I wasn't wrapping super tight because once again I want this to be a low tension hairstyle and I want it to look very very natural and the tighter that you wrap it the less flexible your faux locks are going to be and it could possibly be more heavy so my faux locks are nice they're flexible they're lightweight so that's what i'm going for so i'm going to go ahead and start wrapping when you first start wrapping you could push up a little bit just to secure it to make sure that it's intact but i would say once you do about four to five wraps you can just go ahead and just start you know just wrapping it and making sure you're not doing it too tight so that once again it's not too stiff and you just continue to wrap. Because I have my mirror here, so I'm just checking. Okay. And I didn't fluff out the hair because I felt like um, you could slightly fluff it. You don't have to super fluff, but you could slightly fluff the hair if you like. Um, it's just a, I would say, a personal preference. And as you start getting more towards the bottom, you, you what you will do is you take the other strand of Jamaican twist hair. You can split it in half a little bit or you can just take the whole um, piece there and you just start using that to wrap. So let me do that again. This is the piece that I'm using that's almost finished. So I'm just going to take this piece here, take the piece that's almost done, hold it down and just continue to wrap. So apologize for the noise. Anyway, let's continue to wrap like this. And as you can see, it's I'm almost to the end of that. So I'm going to try to match it up with this to see how long I want it. So I probably could wrap a little bit more. So at this point, what you could choose to do is you can take some of the curly hair 
and you could use that to wrap it a little bit or you could continue wrapping it with the other piece of Jamaican twist hair so I think I'm going to um, use the Jamaican twist hair and I'm just going to split it in half and I'm just going to continue to wrap until I get it to my desired length so I feel like it's at the desired length that I want now to add a little bit of character to your faux locks you could take some of the curly hair and you could twist you could wrap it around a little bit and then I would suggest tying a knot so I'm going to tie a knot twice like that take the curly hair I hope you guys can see that the lock just take it make a knot and then you can continue to wrap if you want and then I just kind of like palm roll it a little bit and this is how the lock turns out And this is the ends. Now what you want to do is you want to locate where the rest of the Jamaican twist hair is, which is a little bit here. And you want to go ahead and cut that piece off. Making sure not to cut anything else. And I would say once you cut that piece off, just wrap a little bit downward again with the other, the curly hair. You could tie it maybe one more time just to ensure that nothing comes loose. And just palm roll. And then you could maybe cut some of the curly hair off if it's, you know, if it's too long or whatever. But that's your own, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. So, because mine are a particular length, I'm just going to cut a little bit of the curly hair off. And this is what it looks like. You can just, you know, roll it a little bit. You know. But yeah. That's what it looks like, and as you can see, it's flexible, it's not stiff, it's not, and it's not heavy. So, that's how I've been doing it. And this is, I would say, probably my third time actually doing faux locks on myself. I mean, the first times that I've done faux locks, I wasn't even doing YouTube yet, so I didn't even record it. But, um, very first time I did faux locks, one, they were heavy, and they were so tight, I had to take my hair down. Because... I would have to say, like, over the years, doing full locks, the installation process has gotten a lot easier. In my opinion, a lot better to the point where it's like, now they're not heavy, they look more natural, and they're tension-free, and your hair is not, you know, you're not, like, breaking your hair off to get a style, which I think is wonderful. So, with that being said, I'm going to move on to the next side. So, once again, I have my braid here. And you want to make sure you oil your hair, your scalp, moisturize it. I do the LCO method, which is the leave-in cream and the oil. That's the method that works for me. And when I did this style, I started off with freshly washed hair. And I would say I had this style in now for about three days now. So, um, yeah. Alright guys, hopefully you guys can hear me. Kids are making so much noise. I do apologize once again. Anyway, so... I have my braid there. I have my Jamaican twist here. And I have my water wave here. And I'm going to put them together. And I'm going to make sure that the curly hair is tapered like this. 
just gonna take my crochet hook push it through my braid like this hook the hair on close the latch and pull one strand together holding it together though the curly hair and the Jamaican twist hair and then I'm gonna make sure the curly hair is tapered and the Jamaican twist hair is even the way I want it. I'm gonna hold everything together, including my braid. And I'm gonna take another piece of the Jamaican twist hair and I'm going to go ahead and push my crochet hook through my braid once again. Well, actually, I'm sorry guys, I forgot a step. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna push it through my braid like that. I'm gonna take that shorter end, I'm gonna hold it here, and then I'm going to begin to wrap the hair around everything. And I, I'll push up maybe about one to two times after I do about four turns and then I'm just going to go ahead and continue to just wrap it and I'm going to fluff this one out a little bit hopefully you guys can see everything I'm just going to wrap So now I'm getting towards the end. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other strand of Jamaican twist hair, put the shortest strand down, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to wrap down. Running out a piece again, and I'm gonna see if it's okay. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna split it in half, and I'm gonna wrap a little more down, and then I'm gonna use some of the curly hair. And I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping with that. Now you don't have to wrap with the curly if you don't want to. I'm just doing that because I think it looks nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie it twice. Checking to see if it's even. So what I want to do is I'm going to take my scissors and cut the rest of the Jamaican twist hair off. Like that. And I'll take some more of the... Oops, forgot a little piece. I'll take some more, I'll take some more of the curly hair, a little piece, and I'll wrap a little bit more, and then I'll go ahead and tie it off. And then go ahead and tie it off. Okay, so this is how this one turned out. Hope you guys 
guys can see it. And just to make sure, I would say they are pretty, I do feel like they're pretty even. I'm going to go ahead and cut whatever, um, you know, make sure it curls, the curly part is even as well. Okay. So as you can see, I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off. Okay. So that's what they look like. And I'll just, you know, palm roll it a little bit. And that's how I got my faux locks to be like this. I don't have to do any burning. I don't have to burn the ends. I don't have to wrap up if I don't want to. So I think this is great. And it's a great protective style. And, you know, the longer you leave them in, the more natural they will look. And I just have some little hair accessories you guys can see I do want to get some more hair accessories it's just that when I make wigs and people purchase like my faux lock wigs or box braid wigs or twist wigs I tend to send like little um you know hair jewelries in the order you know so they could decorate their unit or whatever so I use what I had available so um but yeah this is how it turned out. Um, I just wanted to do something different. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was interesting. I will definitely leave all the material that I use in the description box below. As um, as well as the video, the videos associated with the hair that I use as well. So um, let me know what you guys think about this protective style. Let me know if it's something that you would try. Let me know if you would like to see more faux lock hairstyles because I'm considering maybe um, doing more faux lock hairstyles. I like box braids. I like twists. But um, I wanted to try something that was different and that wasn't going to take me. I mean, this style took me, I would say, two days to do only because I started really late in the night. And I didn't finish until the next day. But I think if you started out in the morning time, you know, maybe on a weekend or something when you have free time, I think by the end of the day, you would probably be done. Especially since I did big parting spaces. Like, I didn't want anything that was too small. So, um, yeah. Like I said, definitely let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you tried a faux lock style like this before. Would you recommend this method or not? If you like the method that I used, do you feel like it was helpful? Would you try it? You know, let me know what you guys think. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely don't forget to check out lenskinkycreations.com. I have some new wigs up and some new styles. And don't forget to sign up for my mailing list to be in the know of when I have new coupon codes, uploads, sales, and things of that sort. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on the next one.